Extreme Trends presents A father built a safe go-kart for his daughter, but failed to spot this huge flaw. Before we begin, do us a favor and click that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be inspired by these heartwarming stories every day. Every parent just wants what's best for their children. They want them to live as happily as they could by providing their basic needs and to go above and beyond by making sure they enjoy and have fun every once in a while. After all, they're not going to be kids forever. Time flies and sooner or later they'll find their kids are all grown up and are ready to have their own family, which is why it's important to make moments extra special before it's too late. Of course, with that being said, parents would also want to make sure the safety and well-being of their kids are the topmost priority. Mind you, it's not easy to always have everything under control, and that's exactly what this story is all about. One particular family was indulging in some quality time in Louisiana, and things were really looking great with their outdoors family party when things took a turn for the worst. Five-year-old Lonnie Yusei was eager to play outside under the sun with her family's old go-kart. She was a very energetic kid, and she was having so much fun at her family's party, though she was driving the old gas-powered go-kart at such a slow pace. Gas-powered go-karts could cause potential harm to the user and to those nearby. Gas carts can produce hazardous fumes that can cause vomiting and sickness. Their engines are also too bulky and are mounted in a single location, making it uneven and prone to accidents. The only advantage of gas-powered go-karts are the range and length of time that they can last. That's not really something a kid who just wants to have fun would need, right? The family didn't have an electric go-kart for Lonnie. It was just an old go-kart that they had for a long time. Lonnie's father thoroughly checked the engine and the wheels to see if they were still working and made sure everything was safe for his daughter to use. His assessment made him decide that there wouldn't possibly be anything that this go-kart could do to hurt his daughter, but then he missed a little detail that led to an unexpected turn of events. She was driving really slow that the adults who were watching over her were able to walk beside her. They all wanted to keep Lonnie in close sight and that nothing wrong would happen. Before Lonnie took her ride, her mom, Macy, made sure to pull Lonnie's hair back into a tight bun. She went back and forth with the go-kart and had hit a few bumps here and there. Lonnie was really having a great time with it, and her family, with smiles on their faces, just watched as the little kid gladly took the go-kart for a spin. As with gas-powered go-karts, this one had a big and heavy engine at the back side of it, roaring and revving every time the kid steps on the pedal. This old motor was still good enough to get the cart running. While Lonnie was going on her four-wheeled adventure, the strands of her hair bun became loose, and her blonde hair unfortunately got caught in the motor behind her. Her parents did everything they could to make sure she was safe. It was nobody's fault. Sometimes there are unforeseen circumstances that present themselves on hand. What could possibly go wrong? To them, it didn't seem pretty extreme to let their kid ride a go-kart. Within the blink of an eye, Lonnie and her family were shrieking in horror. The go-kart was still running and her mom had rushed to stop the cart. Everything happened so fast, but it felt like it was the longest minute of Lonnie's life. She was yanked back towards the engine. Lonnie fought to free herself from the grip of the gear belt. The poor girl did what she could to break free, but the motor was powerful. In fact, it was too powerful that it ripped one side of her scalp off from her hairline down to her neck, fracturing her skull in four different places. What was thought to be a simple family time turned out to be a disastrous ordeal. Lonnie only wanted to have fun, but fate played with her. Lonnie's grandfather hurriedly grabbed a knife and sprinted toward the cart to cut Lonnie's hair, releasing her from the motor. They freed her just in time. Had it been a couple seconds later, the situation may have gotten worse enough to be fatal. Her grandmother stood at her side, physically holding her scalp to her head as they immediately brought her to the hospital. It was like a horror movie, Macy told SWNS. The right side of her scalp was just hanging off. It was ripped from the front all the way to the nape of her neck. She was drifting in and out of consciousness, and her eyes were rolling into the back of her head. After being rushed to the hospital, Lonnie required extensive care and emergency surgery that lasted five hours. Macy feared the worst, that her daughter wouldn't survive the terrible accident. But this girl proved to be a tad tough, and within a few weeks in the hospital, Lonnie now has made the most miraculous recovery. Currently, her mom Macy is sharing her story, with a warning to parents everywhere. For now, Lonnie is done with go-karts. Thanks for watching until the end. Be sure to tap on the next videos for more unbelievable stories.